Hello, and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial series for TechIt. Uh, I'm going to be walking through the starting steps for when you first start TechIt and you've got no idea what you're doing and there's just guides everywhere. But this is going to be a guide that's going to walk you through from the beginning to the end to like nuclear reactors and quantum armor and all that crazy stuff. But we're going to start off small. We're going to start off small. Uh, we're going to start off by building a generator which produces energy and then a macerator which then uses that energy to macerate things and I'll explain that a bit more later. So in the first first of all what you'll need to do is you'll need to get yourself some some ingots, some iron ingots and you'll need to re-smelt them, put them back in the furnace and cook them up and that'll turn them into refined iron and to, to finish this tutorial you'll eventually need to make yourself nine refined iron ingots which is just nine iron ingots but smelt it again. Um, the next step that we'll need to do is we'll need to make some machine blocks. Now these are pretty simple. Just in a furnace or a chest shape, you just put your refined iron in that shape and you'll end up with machine blocks. Now machine blocks are like the, well, the building blocks for all the machines that you have and they're, they're key. You'll be making loads of these so don't worry too much if you can't remember the recipe straight away because sooner or later you'll just be like bang 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 learning this recipe. Uh, after you've got this you'll need to make yourself a tree tap. Now a tree tap is this little this little thing here and basically what you do with it is you find a rubber tree. Now you can tell it's a rubber tree because it's got these extra few blocks of leaves on the top and it's slightly darker in colour. And if you've got a, step, uh, a texture pack uh, that just changes the default Minecraft skins it will look different to your other trees. Now once you've found one of these trees, what you want to do is you want to find these little yellow blobs on the side. And what you do is you, you right click it with your tree tap and it spits out some sticky resin. Now sticky resin is very important. What you'll want to do is when you find these trees you'll want to chop down all the leaves and look for the saplings for this tree because you'll want to create a rubber tree farm. If you don't you it'll just be a nightmare for you and you won't make any progress very quickly if you just run out looking for them all the time. So now you've got your tree tap by building it like this you uh, you can you smelt the resin into rubber in a furnace and you'll need roughly 12 depending on how efficient you are with your cables. Uh, 12 will make you 6 copper cables which I'm coming on to next. So You'll want to make some insulated copper cables, which are these little cables here. So this requires, uh, for one, for one batch of six, it will require six rubber and three copper bars. So copper bars are just melted, melted copper. And if you didn't have the rubber here, it would just create uninsulated copper wires, and they have a chance to electrocute you, which you don't want because it does da it deals damage. So you don't want that. And Basically, the wires are just there to transport your electricity about. That's that's all they're there for. And you want to insulate them so you don't get, well, murdered by your own equipment. Next thing to do is to build yourself a battery. Now you're probably thinking, oh, why do I need a battery? Well, the generator itself requires a battery, uh, just so it can hold some charge, other than just like burning. Like a furnace would burn through the coal, and that would be it. But a generator will burn through coal and store it until it's needed and then pass it on. So now that we've got this, uh, a battery is just four tin, which is smelted tin ore, a couple of redstone and one of your copper cables. So now you're thinking, oh god we've done all that, we haven't even made anything, we haven't even put anything on the floor yet. So here's, here's the fun part, now that you've got all these items, you can you can build yourself a generator. So it's just a battery on top of a main machine block on top of a furnace and you'll get your generator. So I'm going to take this with me because I'll be showing you how to use it in a bit. Oh, I need to be back in there. Right, now, to start to build a macerator you'll need an electronic circuit which is one of these little funky things. And it's just, just a couple of wires, six, six wires, a couple of redstone and a refined iron in the middle. Once you've got that, 
You can build a macerator. You're thinking, yeah, we've got all these things, but we can make it better. We can make it better. So the macerator, you'll need three flint. A good way to do get flint is to find some gravel, put it on the floor, smash it. If it doesn't turn into flint, pick it, put it back down, smash it again, and then just repeat until you've got three. And then you need a couple of cobblestone, some machine, uh, well, one machine block, and this circuit you've just made. So now that you've got your, your generator and your master, you're in the money, in the money. But what we can do is we can make it efficient, so you don't even have to look at it. You, you can just like leave it there, and it'll just do whatever you want it to do. So here, um, you can make some pipes. It's just really simple: a block of glass and some block of wood, and you make a wooden pipe, or some cobblestone and a block of glass, and you make a cobblestone pipe. The difference between cobblestone and wooden is a wooden pipe is you can attach it to a treasure uh, treasure chest. What am I talking about? A chest, and it will. If you apply a redstone engine to it, which I'm going to go on to in a second, it will drag things out of the chest along the pipe. And a cobblestone pipe is basically just a simple transport pipe. There's nothing fancy. It doesn't it doesn't do anything other than allow things to travel through it. Right. So to make a redstone engine, we'll need some wooden gears and a piston. Now, if you didn't know, this is the piston piston uh, schematic. Wooden gears, really simple. A couple of sticks in a circle, like this. Or as close to a circle as you can get in Minecraft. And you get your gears. And then we eventually get our redstone engine. Which is some wood, a bit of glass, your gears either side of a piston, and boom! Right, so now that you've got all this, we're going to go over to the temporary workstation, over here. And... I'm going to show you how to put them together. So first of all, you'll want to put your generator down and then say a couple of blocks away, uh, about that distance, you'll want to put your macerator. Now, what you can do is while you're building, you can start off your generator generating some energy. And if you just, I'll just, I'll just dump it all in there, if you just excuse me a second, you'll find with TechIt that the, the volume is a bit messed up. So what you've got to do is you've just got to twiddle with the, the sound bar up here, and that'll, that'll readjust your sound like that, see? Nice and quiet. So now, we don't want this power to go on the waste, so what you do is, you connect it up with your wires, you just basically click like any other block and it'll connect them, and it'll come out this way, etc. Um, and once you've got your wires hooked up, you can look inside your macerator. Now, a macerator basically turns one block of ore into two blocks of dust. Now, one block of ore would be smelted into one bar, but one dust would be smelted into one bar as well. So basically, basically all you're doing here is doubling what you get from every block. So if I start to put, if I put my iron ore in, tweak my sound again, Uh, you'll see it starts to progress like any other thing. You get your little progress bar, like you would with smelting or any other th things like that. And then when it's done, any second, any second, any second, boom! You've got some. You've got two iron dust. Now iron dust, like I just explained, will turn into two bars. Well, not not two bars each, but the two that you get per ore will turn into two bars. Now you see this red arrow? That basically tells you how much electricity you've currently got going into your machine. So if it's if it's half empty then you need to put some more fuel in, in your generator and that'll fix that problem. Let's make it daytime. Right, so you'll be wondering, well you know I've got all this now and I don't, I don't want to really be like, coming back to it. I can imagine that filling up quite quickly. So what you what you'd do is you would get your pipes like this and you'd pop a chest down like so and then you would put a red, your redstone engine now the redstone engine will automatically face the nearest thing to it so it's not like pistons where you've got to like angle yourself right up against a wall or whatever it'll just point towards the nearest thing once you've got this you get yourself a lever uh, one thing I've missed lever, there we go um, and just hook this up and turn it on and you'll see it'll start to move and there comes your 
iron dust and it will come out slower. Now redstone engines will gradually get faster and faster. The longer you leave it on it will gradually change colour to it will go, I think it will go yellow to green to red. I don't know why it goes to green. Maybe it doesn't go to green. Maybe it goes blue, green, yellow, red. That would make more sense. But basically the longer you leave it on the faster it gets. So eventually there will be a constant stream of, coming, of things coming out here. Now one thing I forgot to mention is like if you want to make this even more efficient, what you could do is if I just if I just take all of these out, what you can do is you could create a repository for all your stuff. So for example, you could have a double chest up here, and inside it you could have all your ores, etc etc. And you just get your, your redstone engine again. Connect that up and then add a little wire. Uh, not a wire, a lever. Uh, now this will pump everything out of this chest, starting in the top left corner and working this way along and then it goes back to the next row, working along, working along. And it will pump it out and has to go at the top, mind you. For like um, these, these three boxes in the middle here. Uh, if you wanted to pump coal or fuel straight into the macerator or a battery, I don't think you can put a coal in. No, ignore the coal bit. If you wanted to put a battery in here, for example, you put it in this bottom slot. Um, so if you want to put anything like ores or anything, you've got to make sure your pipes go in the top. And when they're leaving, the pipe on the right hand side is the pipe where it's going to travel to when it leaves. Now there's a warning if you do this kind of system. Say you have... let me just get some different types of ores. Let's see, copper... Let's get some copper ore. If I do this instead, move them around, you'll see you'll see the copper ores coming out now as well as the iron. And th this is where you hit a problem. You've got this is this is the cautious bit of it, where you've got to keep an eye on it if you put multiple things in this chest, because as you'll see, it'll get down, it'll get down, and it'll just won't fill in because it, this this slot's full. So and then it'll just end up here, and if you're not there for a long time, then it's it's going to just disappear. I mean it's only got five minutes of world time before it disappears. But other than that you've got a macerator and I mean look, look at all this iron dust. All this iron dust. I mean 20 iron dust? That's laws. That's 20 iron bars right there. So then you can just process this up and then you can do it all over again and you'll be, you'll be loaded. Loaded in no time. So I hope, I hope this tutorial so far has helped you out. Uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. See you later, guys.